Hi, I'm Ian, and today we're going to fix a leaky faucet. Now the setup is about the same for every faucet. You always want to protect your work area with some towels. That's going to keep excess water from getting everywhere and tools from damaging your countertop. For this project, you'll need some pipe joint compound, a flathead screwdriver with the end taped up so you don't nick any of the plumbing parts, a regular Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a utility knife, some channel lock pliers, again with tape on the teeth so you don't mar the finish on any of these fixtures, and a mild abrasive pad. Now before you start any project with your faucet, make sure you turn the water off. These shutoff valves are usually located just below your sink. Also, stop up the sink so you don't lose any parts down the drain. Again, a lost part isn't going to do you any good. Today we're going to be working with a compression faucet. Now if you have some leaking happening around the handle, the first thing you want to do is take a utility knife and lightly pry off the top protective piece. Now when you get it open a little bit, pop off the trim piece at the top of the faucet. That'll expose the set screw. Now you want to take a Phillips head screwdriver and take that set screw out and then pop off the handle. Now if it's a little tight, you can take your screwdriver and kind of pry it up and get that off. Now you want to take your crescent wrench and tighten down on this piece. Turn your water back on, and if it's still leaking, you want to go ahead and actually take this off completely. Now a little bit of water will come up when you pop this piece off, but don't worry about it. As long as the water's off, it's not a problem. Now take a look at the bottom of the piece. If the threads look corroded or dirty, take your scouring pad and just sort of get any of that residue off of there. Now if there's an O-ring or a gasket on the bottom that looks deteriorated, take the screw off and replace the gasket itself. When everything looks good and checks out, you want to take a little bit of plumber's putty and just put it along the threads. Now that's going to give us a watertight seal when we put the piece back in. So put your handle back on, open it up a little bit, turn the water back on. Then close down your handle. If there's no leaking, you're golden. Now if your faucet is leaking from the base of the stem, what you're going to need to do is remove this whole assembly. You want to take your channel lock pliers that are protected so we don't mess up the finish on the faucet and loosen this up a little bit. Hand loosen and remove this fitting completely. Gently Rock the piece back and forth. A little bit of water will come up, but that's not a problem. Now you want to look at the rubber O-ring and make sure it's in good condition. If it appears worn or torn, replace it. If it looks like it's in good shape, go ahead and put it aside. Now you want to look into the actual assembly on the faucet. Run your finger inside. Now if you feel anything in there, take a mild abrasive pad, put it inside the faucet. Run it around a little bit, and that'll take care of any burrs that might have formed inside. You're ready to replace your faucet. Stem, gently work it back into the slot. Replace your fitting. Take your channel locks, get it a final tightening. Once your fitting is tightened down, go ahead and open up the water, and then close it down. The leaking's gone, you're done. So that's how you fix a leaky faucet. As you can see, it's not too difficult a project. Just make sure you read your instructions carefully, take your time, and you should be fine. Mm -hmm.